Thank you. Uh, a little bit about me. My name is Akshay. I am originally from India. When I was a kid, I, I, I got to meet Ricky Martin. It's pretty cool. And he even gave me a poster of him holding the soccer World Cup. And he signed it, here we go. Ole, ole, Akshay. It's pretty good, right? And I would go to sleep at night with that poster over my bed, knowing that Ricky was keeping me in the soccer World Cup safe from darkness. When I got to America and unboxed that poster in my college dorm, my roommate was like, hey, hey, you, you can't put that up here. And I was like, what, what? Just because Ricky's gay, I can't have a Ricky Martin poster? He's like, buddy, this is America. Ricky is cool. Soccer is gay. I think the hardest thing about being an immigrant, and I truly, I truly believe the hardest thing about being an immigrant is uh, when I got to America, how was I supposed to know that Nickelback sucked? <laughs> yeah? Because the sound of Nickelback went fully global. But the subtleties of how they could sell a ton of records because they suck, what? <laughs> Guys, I discovered Nirvana by Googling bands that sound like Nickelback. <laughs> Which is maybe why Kurt Cobain killed himself. <laughs> I said maybe. <laughs> The people that shit on Nickelback, they're the hacks, right? I mean, they're, they're probably work, working corporate jobs. At least Nickelback did a thing, you know? <laughs> they did a thing, you know? Anyway, so when I was in college, me and my other Indian friend, we signed up for the talent show. And we signed up under the name Stupid Kid and the Cocaines. Because we were pretty punk rock. <laughs> And he was like, dude, you know what would be cool is if we sing a song by Nickelback. And I said, dude, you know what would be cooler is if we sing a song by Creed. <laughs> because guys, once again, <laughs> if you listen to the music of Creed without the projected baggage on Jesus, <laughs> so I sang Higher by Creed and the crowd went wild <laughs> I just... guys we won the talent show thank you because everyone thought we were being ironic <laughs> At one point, the host actually came out and said, that was hilarious. You should be a comedian. And that's how I ended up here. <laughs> the Lord works in mysterious ways. You guys remember the famous Nirvana album cover with the baby floating? Okay, so recently that album cover has come under fire because one perspective is that it's child pornography. Another perspective is, is that it's a baptism. <laughs> but here's the thing, guys. If you can hold both dual perspectives at once without judgment, you'll see the real perspective, which is Nirvana. It says it right here on the album cover. That was a joke in the dual nature of reality while simultaneously <laughs> describing an album cover. Thank you. And it was both funny and unfunny. <laughs> you guys get it? Never mind. Thank you.